Well, hello everyone out there in YouTube land. Hopefully everyone's having a great, fantastic day. Today, I'd like to uh, talk about my oil change on my FW15. Um, today's going to be my first oil change that I've done um, with the hose, the oil drain hose, uh, which I already done that. Um, so it is definitely a lot uh, faster and a lot more cleaner if you have the oil drain hose. Um, but today's topic is going to be about, um, like I said in my prior videos, um, the oil that I'm um, going to upgrade my oils to. Um, so right now I'm going to show everybody the oil that I'm putting in my FW15 due to climate change. Um, you can upgrade and make your oil a lot thicker um, because we have commercial mowers um, and this specific um, Honda GX uh, the uh the gx90 uh motor can handle um up to uh 20 w50 oil uh, according to the manuals so um i already had in there i'm going to show you what i had in there already uh, this is what i had in there the first time which i was coming off of the 10 w40 Okay, well, I had I jumped it up to uh, 1540, okay, and uh, so now I'm jumping it up right now to a 20W50. This is a vintage oil. I got lucky and I scored that on eBay, a whole case of them. Um, this one's the vintage one, um, and as you can read in there, it's, for, it's high perf uh, performance. Uh, for racing, uh, it's racing formula. Now we all know, if it's for racing, that means in my mind that it's for high RPM, really torquing an engine and racing and ripping that motor hard because it's, this oil is meant for racing. So our mowers are small and um, they rev at 3,500, 3,600 RPM. Um, so you can kind of say they're racing too because they're really spinning, really, you know, moving fast, um, uh, the parts inside the motor. Um, so with that being said, this, this is a perfect oil racing formula uh, and full synthetic that I'm going to be pouring inside of my uh, Ferris. FW50. So, this is what I'm going to be pouring in there right now into my FW15. I'm going to try to do this with one hand. Um, hopefully, I can. My FW15 is already right there. Let me pull that back a snip. We're already there. So, we're going to pull this guy out. Okay. And we're going to pull him in. Let me switch to my right hand. Okay, here we go. So, let's get this going. If I can get this going right in here, it would be cool. Alrighty, in you go. F, there you go. So, we're, we're dropping in there 2050 motor oil right now inside here. That's what it's all about. The thicker is good. So, we're running thicker motor oil. And we're putting in there 20W50. Like I said, I was going to do in my prior videos. Due to climate change. You know, these motors are running hot. And the environment outside, we're talking, you know, 95 degrees, index 105. So you can put a thicker motor oil inside your Ferris FW15. And all commercial mowers, stand on, sit downs. If you're running them hard every day, take out your standard 10W30 
uh, which can only go up to 80 degrees um, and put in either a 1540 or up it up to a 2050 um, like I just did uh, inside my Ferris. So that my Ferris is gonna is now full and uh, and that's that. So everyone be blessed. Have a good day and um, oil change time. Upgraded my oil. Um, so any questions, leave it below. Uh, subscribe to my channel. Uh, give me a thumbs up. And uh, you guys be blessed. Continue to make that money back out there. I'm on my grind again. And uh, time to make the donuts. And, um, you know, keep it going. Season's just about coming to the end soon. You know, we're already in August. So, um, before you know it, grass season will be over. And then I got to do some uh, winter things. Um, to do some winter work. Um, snow plowing snow blowing and things like that so um, you guys be blessed out there thanks for watching today Peace.